Hello and welcome back to Sunless Sunday, where we sail the Sunless Sea with me, Barden, in the company of Captain Murray. Last time, uh, Murray took a bit of a risk by setting sail from the Toon Colonies with less than half of her hull intact uh, and made a daring voyage to the salt lines to pick up some marble and then cut our way back to London and it really paid off for us in a big way so um, because of that we were um, we have the ability to um, bring on some new staff um, so I think it's reset yeah so um, where is it there ah no so we've already got apparently we've already got our new recruit though I don't actually see him we've got a sly navigator okay so for now I guess um, we've just got the guys I'm not sure where the new guy's gone um, but let's spend one more night resting in our rooms Okay, then um, let's check that our hold is indeed full. Um, we can get one more. So what do we need? Probably fuel at this stage. So let's get another fuel. And looking at the map, the plan is to head directly east, check out this area, then cut south, check out this area, then cut north and check out this area. And then even um on the loop we may go to the um zeal port and see if we get some more marble and maybe bring that back to london um we can't offer um uh, passage to the tomb colonies so we probably won't be heading in that direction this time so let's just set sail sail here now mari is still distracted by um oh Hang on. So she's distracted by a nightmares as well. The sea is bright as milk. False stars above are black on a pitchy bed. Something is watching you. Its gaze unfolds. You enfolds your boat. You are transparent as glass. Flee the nightmare. Turn the helm and flee across the milky sea. It's a modest challenge. Okay. An escape. The sea churns in your wake. You pull away from the eye into the shallower waters of waking but a terror clings you succeed in a heart's challenge which is nice we gained one terror we lost one menace and we lost um, one restful night okay so we definitely need to um, go cruising the next chance we can get because I'd like to um, having our terror hovering at the 50% mark all the time is not good for us and we can see why so here's another nightmare okay so we gained two terror but we did succeed and we lost another menace Okay, so need, we need to be really straightening up, I think, if I check the map. Yeah, so we basically need to go straight across. Uh, pull it in at the lightship because we haven't been there for a while, so we may actually get some, uh, get a port report from there. Or I think we might get a port report, or is, do they actually give um, like Tales of the Sea or something? Whichever um, we want to pull in there anyway. Now let's cut the engine. Oh, just about made it. That's good. Okay, let's dock at the light ship. Speak to the crew. So we lost our recent lose. We got five terror, but we got a Z story. Okay, and then uh, that's enough for there. So then let's head around this way. Okay, and I'm hoping there is actually something to discover over here. Okay. 
And as you can see, it's it's pretty actually pretty difficult to build your legacy for the next um, for the next captain because there's so much you can um, spend your echoes on to try and make your current voyage better. Oh, uh, we're definitely going to go north. So, Born Vedas Pillar. So let's send out a Z-Bat to see what we've got around here. I'm not sure if we need to burn fuel, I think. Oh, they just missed us, which is nice. Then we can put the island between us. Oh, but they hit us that time. Okay, so we do need to be making our way a bit quicker. Okay, and then send out the receive bath again. So we're back near Guider's Morn again. So that's basically the only port in this area. So that kind of makes the decision for us. Um, we're gonna cut south. Guider's Morn is always a dangerous place to visit, so we're not gonna visit there this time. We can start slowing down though. Oh, apparently not. Okay, let's go around this way. I want to get so the coast is gonna be between us as soon as possible. Hopefully before they can fire. And then down south we go. Okay, let's just check if they're going to pursue. It doesn't look like it. Okay, so we can slow down a bit. Okay, they are pursuing, so let's speed up again. Now, it looks like we're... Oh, I was going to say safe, but maybe safe isn't the right word. So there's Moody's Light down there. So maybe there's something for us to discover around here. Let's send out our Z-Bat and see. Okay, so no islands. Okay, so Bounty Reed is some distance to the east. Okay, so let's go east then. And that's going to be a new place for us as well. Okay, so still east, so we're still heading in the right direction. Okay, and apparently we've discovered... Ah, here it is here, okay. So hopefully there's something to... Somewhere for us to pull in. Let's just check the map. Doesn't really help us all that much. Ah, it's Bonnie Reefs. I thought it was Bounty. It's Bonnie Reefs. Bit of a Scottish team there. And actually a lot of the... I know it's uh, Fallen London, so it's based on... Um, you know... The UK, per se. So it shouldn't be surprising that there are a lot of kind of Scottish and Irish type names in there as well. But is there anywhere of interest for us to pull in here? At the moment, no. So I think uh, continuing on south would be a good call. So we're, we're doing fairly well on supplies. We need to be careful in terms of our fuel, I think. That's going to be what what depletes quickest. So what have we got here? Okay, so we got um, something. The Muse Island, I guess it is. 
Okay, so is there a port there? Let's check them out. It looks like the kind of island that would have a port. So let's continue. There we go. There's a port there. And there's the Iron and Misery um, Company funding station as well. So this is something that we were looking for um, previously with um, Captain Reginald. But we've discovered it a little late for him. We may as well pull in. Hopefully beat that pirate steamer. Let's just get there as quickly as possible. Okay. Okay, so INM has a fungar operation here. Felling giant bulligous trooms for building materials. Harvesting Kiralee Kira for its medical properties. It's a desperate little outpost of something like civilization. Up puffs the affable factor. Oh, hello, Captain. Thank God for visitors. We'd go quite mad out here otherwise. Ah ha 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 ha. Quite mad. How can we be of assistance? Okay, so first of all, um, let's compile a port report. Next, let's take tea with the factor. The poor fellow needs the company and he can spare an hour away from his schedule. An interlude. You sit on the veranda of the factor's house, looking out over the fungal, fungal jungle, an expanse of green and sour gold. The air is thick with hovering spores. The scones are stale. Even the tea has a hint of mildew. But the factor is good company. He shares... Odd stories about the ice and roses of Irem, the monstrosities of the Sea of Lilies, and a little restaurant in Vrendabite where he enjoyed the most extraordinary seafood. We were there before and it cost us an arm and a leg. Vrendabite. I know I'd never met a tomb colonist who could cook, but you must visit the place. Do you know it? Yes, I do. He also ha has a load of what is it? Bologus frond carted aboard your ship. He waves away your thanks. I have eaten so much of the stuff I fear that I might be transformed entirely into fungus. He leans confidentially towards you. It happens, you know, but one does have to eat rather than one does have to eat rather a lot of it first. Okay, so we lost two terror, which is nice, and we gained six fragments and we got one supply as well. Okay, so I hope that um, guys like mushrooms. We can try to gather supplies. Um, so we gained one supply and we also gained two terror. So we're not going to try that again because um, we need to worry about our terror a little more. Okay, so um, we're going to wait for that boat to go away and then we're going to strike out I think south again and then head to the east and then maybe up towards crab cake after that so you can go away please um, head west thank you okay so as soon as they're gone off the screen Oh, they're back on. Okay, please go west. Okay, now we need to go east. East and then south. We still haven't found um, Nuncio, which I definitely want to do uh, to help the drowny Postman deliver the um, Lorn, what's it called? Lorn Fluke. So here we have the Fustine 
Blicks. Okay, so there's no port here. Let's send out the Z-Bot to see if there are other ports we should be heading towards. So at the moment, no. Okay, let's try again. And all the while, Captain Mary is thinking about um, her child back in London. How is she going to raise the uh, money she needs to get a bigger house so that he can uh, come live with her? And the, the crew have noticed how distracted she is as well. So what have we got here? Seems to be something. Ah, there we go. So let's just continue heading south to the other shrooms. Okay, and then let's see if there is any form of port here. Hopefully we can make it between those little islands. I suppose they're actually mushrooms rather than islands, but I'm sure they serve the purpose of islands for those who cling to them. It looks like a place that would have a port. But maybe not on this side. Oh, we got something. Oh, that does not look good. Go, go, run, run, run. Oh, definitely not good. We're on fire. Okay, we put the fire out at least. Now, is there actually a... Yes, there is a port. Great. Okay. Oh, we can actually cut. There, recurring nightmares. Okay, it's a straightforward challenge now. Escape. The sea churns in your wake. You pull away from the eye. Okay, we gained one terror. We lost one menace. Okay, your dream has passed. That's good. Your dreams have passed. Okay, it is very good. Thank you. And we lost one terror as well. Okay, now let's slow down and then pull in here. Okay, so the under shroom. Climb the fungal fiber ladders to its summit. Okay, so we can gather intelligence. Let's do that first. A slow survey. The villagers live a shabby but sufficient life. The other shroom provides. They are secretive, taciturn, and curious. Ships rarely visit. Okay, and then uh, let's search the top. Buried treasure. Uh, let's um, read this bit first. So, fibrous huts, spore fogs, that endless damp purple smell. Is there anything else? You pick idly at a scar on the shroom rind, and the whole thing peels away. Beneath, in an odd little pocket, lies bundles of ancient mouldy cloth, Stygian ivory, like the stuff the shellonate sell, and something very like a shellonate harpoon. Did the proud shellonates come here once? Are they the ancestors of the sorry villagers? So we got five Stygian ivory, one outlandish artifact, and one extraordinary implication. Okay, um, visit the village. Hosp hospitable, not exactly, but they usually don't chase you off with sticks, 
and they usually let you sit beside their mildew-smelling fire. The utter shroom releases spores according to its own inscrutable schedule. Today, the air is soupy thick. They coat your hair. They clog your throat. They gather like sleep in the corners of your eyes. Conversation with the shroomers is impossibly hard. You return to the ship where you find a tiny purple mushroom growing already in your ear. Okay, we got one terror and we got one tail of terror as well. And then we can't um, trade honey at the moment, but um, it's maybe something to keep in mind for the future. Okay, so we now have nine fuel left. Okay, so looking at the map, nine fuel. So if we head up this way, get a port of port here and then strike back to London. I think maybe that's the best way to go. So there, Mutton Island, uh, maybe the light ship again and then back to London. So let's strike out. And again, we're going to be uncovering more of the map, which is nice. And every time we uncover some more of the map, it's a chance of actually finding Nuncio. So I think we're probably a bit too close to the last port, but we may as well try it. Oh, and again... We got something. Someone's interested in us. Ah, he's actually up there. We're heading towards him, which is not good. Canate War Trimaran. We definitely don't want to be tangling with that. Looks like it goes faster than us as well. Oh, and there's another ship we want to avoid. There is something here. Okay, so Cudgel's Bluff. Uh oh, it's not good. Taking more damage to our hull. We will get into port before they can completely destroy us, but they do a lot of damage. Okay, now let's in here there we go okay iron republic factory engines roar like false lines iron republic factory engines roar like false lines blood thunders in the dock pipes crimson lightning skitters across the deck leaps to the rail curls there like a cat the city is reflected in the glassy calm harbor water the citizens there have the heads of dogs and serpents Hell has brought freedom to the Iron Republic. Freedom from all laws, even those of nature. Okay, sounds like an interesting place. Okay, so let's compile a port report. Fact and fiction. To record the Republic's, the Republic's events, it's like trying to sing wax or believe water. You do what you can. The third paragraph buds eyes. The date is fundamentally wrong. The full stop spike. You do what you can. So we've got a port report. Okay. Now, what else do we have? Engage an officer, the irresponsible cannoneer. We don't, or the irrepressible cannoneer. Allow the sailors time ashore. Probably this will increase your terror. Well, we don't want that then. Um, market of Hungers, the Parliament of Thigh Flies. The Market of Hungers, with its spires and sigils, it is a parody of the bazaar. Today, flies fill its arcades. Buzz, buzz. Um, I don't think we want to go there either. Um, so, I think we're done in the Iron Republic. We're going to wait for this guy to go away. Then looking at our map, um, we're going to go directly north, I think, from here. 
So this episode is going to be slightly longer because this is the end of my recording session. So I want to get back to London um, before I save. So we do have to um, repair our hull in at the start of the next session, which is hopefully something I remember because um, we're probably going to take some more damage on the way. So the Iron Republic is a very interesting place. Uh oh, and that guy spotted us. Uh, can we stay out of range? No, we can't. Okay, so he's doing some damage. But he's straightening, straightening up, so we won't be in... Um, yeah, we lost him now. But as you can see, Hull isn't doing too well. We're down below 50% again. So that's going to cost us to repair that. And we haven't really... Although we've discovered a lot of new places, I don't think we've gotten that much in terms of echoes, um, which is going to make um, getting ourselves back on an even keel a bit harder. And I'm still trying to um, stay out of the clutches of um, those nasty guys that are trying to deliver a present to us. But it may be something we have to consider in the next few episodes. But for now, we're going to try and avoid them if we can. So the harbour is kind of in that direction. So Giannotti Harbour. Okay, so we're going to be there pretty soon. Got a jellyfish over there who's probably going to try. Oh no, I sped up there just in case, but he decided to go a different way. Let's cut our engines and then dock. So we've got the canal area here. Uh, let's fulfill the Admiralty Commission. So we completed our commission. So now we can get a new commission from the Admiral. Um, let's gather information for the port report as well. Okay, and then listen for surface gossip. Okay, so we've got a vision of the surface, which is nice. So, all in all, pulling in there was actually a pretty good idea because um, it may actually um, give us some nice rewards from the Admiralty. Now, going through the Albertine gates there, I believe, would allow us to head up to the um, surface, but um, that's not somewhere we want to be going with less than half our hull, I think. Now, we've got um, four... So, we've got four fuel left. So, hopefully, that's enough to get us back to London. The less time we spend traveling at um, at full speed, the better, really. Because we just burn through it too quickly. Now we are going to um, head to Mutton Island because it's on the way. In terms of our supplies, we're doing pretty okay. Let's cut a bit more to the east to hopefully avoid him. No, didn't work, so let's speed up. An auroral megalops wouldn't do that much damage to us, but we're already suffering. So we want to avoid him. I think he's given up the pursuit, which is nice. 
and now we just need to head directly north. Okay, so it's all clear, which I like the sound of. And then we're gonna pull in here at Quaker's Haven. Hopefully we have enough momentum, just about, okay? So let's get in here. Okay, we're going to um, buy supplies. Let's visit the hilltop of the town. Okay, so we've seen that last time. We got ourselves two terror. Got myself some more fragments. Let's um, drink here to reduce our terror. Okay, uh, let's chat with the fishermen. So we've got our port report. And then we can um, leave here. Let's strike out. So next it's the light ship and then fall in London and that will be the end of the episode. So we need to basically go directly north. As you can see as well, the further away we go from London, the more dangerous things get and the more, um, you know, getting back to London to repair and stuff becomes a priority. So we need to basically skirt um, Rowena's Rock here and then the light ship will be slightly to the west and obviously north. Here we go, there's the light ship dock there. I suppose it's a dock, even though it's just a ship. Okay, momentum should carry us the rest of the way, hopefully. Not quite. There we go, okay. So let's visit them. We can't speak to the crew because we we met them on the way out. Um, we hopefully don't need to purchase fuel. Um, let's check. So London is basically just a cut over there. So I think we're just about going to make it to London if we go directly. So let's do that. So again, um, with Mari here, we seem to always cut things very finely. Um, but, you know, she's progressing pretty well. Um, sometimes in um, sometimes in this game, you kind of feel like your progress is really just trying to stay stay at the same level as you you've been for a while and not actually go backwards um, and that's kind of where we are at the moment in terms of echoes and the ship and stuff um, but you know the longer we venture on the sea the more opportunities we're going to get to um, increase our fortune and I do hope that um, you know we have Mari for um, a long time because for me uh, she's an interesting captain to have in terms of uh, her different approach to things she's more kind of um, worried oh the revenue men have come okay let them do their worst okay so they go away let's collect messages Okay, so again, we got that little gift. We don't want to be doing anything like that. 
but all of this stuff we're going to do in the next episode as that does bring us to the end of this particular one. So if you have enjoyed, please consider liking, subscribing, and posting comment. And I really do hope to see all of you next time. Goodbye.